Developing this morning from the zoo Tampa at Lowry Park, we're learning some new information now following the deaths of a group of stingrays. Zoo spokesperson says that they're in the process of investigating why and how this happened. Fox 13's Matt McClellan is at the zoo this morning. This is such a sad story. All of the stingrays have died there. What is going on? That's exactly right, Laura. Good morning. Zoo Tampa describing this as the mysterious loss of all 12 stingrays in Stingray Bay, meaning, as you mentioned, there are no surviving stingrays in this habitat. We're also learning just a short while ago that officials are now awaiting the results of toxicology reports. Uh, the zoo says on Thursday morning, animal care experts discovered seven cow nose stingrays dead, along with four southern stingrays and one Atlantic stingray. Zoo staffers now examining the water temperature and quality in Stingray Bay, along with oxygen and pH levels. And a spokesperson says all of these indicators point to optimal water quality and conditions. Stingray Bay is a closed system that's home only to the rays. It's a 16,000 gallon water, uh, salt water tank uh, and, and touch pool, meaning visitors do have direct contact with the stingrays, including feeding them. The zoo telling Fox 13 it's looking into every possibility to uncover what caused these deaths. And this includes running those toxicology re reports I mentioned off the top, but it may take several weeks for all of the test results to come in. Now, the zoo made the announcement in a Facebook post late Thursday night saying, quote, it is with heavy hearts we share that today Zoo Tampa lost 12 residents of Stingray Bay. The post goes on to ask everybody to keep the animal care team in their thoughts, saying, quote, every professional here loves the animals we care for, and every loss is a difficult one. Now, Stingray Bay will be closed for eight weeks as the zoo uh, investigates uh, and, and, and keeps an eye on what could have possibly gone wrong here, and we're told that it could be even longer than eight weeks, just depending on the toxicology reports uh, and other factors that they're uh, including uh, in this investigation, Laura. So a sad, a sad day for these zoo workers indeed. So odd. Mystery. All right. Matthew McClellan, Live Forces Morning at Zoo Tampa. Thank you.